letting me stop shaking the camera out. Welcome to hardest parts of decluttering and how I overcame them. How I overcame them is not really that true because I'm still learning to overcome them. But um, yeah, I might put this in the title or I might not, but I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. My name is Leah and this is the channel Leah's Tidy World. Um, please remember to give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, we'll talk about the three hardest things in decluttering. So the first one is definitely for me, is definitely um, working with my attachments, overcoming my attachments. I'm not sure if I've overcome that, as I said. Um, well, I'm saying I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I definitely haven't overcome most of them. Even though a therapist told me that, that you have to put parting with things into practice, in order for the anxiety to become less over time. I managed with my cherished teddies and um, some of my handbags. When I went by the quote from the Quran saying that you will never attain to true piety unless you spend on others from what you dearly cherish. And declutter things that were still very special to me. But somehow everything is special to me and I just can't seem to part with it. My solution is doing it little by little and parting with whatever I'm ready to part with at the time. Over time I've got rid of a lot but um, the space is not where I want it to be. But I've come a long way. I used to think minimalism was deprivation and I was totally against it and now look at me, it's one of my aspirations. But it's still a long hard way to go till then. My best advice is to keep going, keep at it and not give up. If you've ever struggled with attachments, then know that it gets better over time. What goes hand in hand with that is sentimental items. I feel like a lot of items become deeply meaningful to me fast and that's not where my values lie. I wanna, as they say, love people and use stuff. But my, my strongest attachments, my strongest connection at the moment due to my social anxiety is with stuff. But I do believe in doing sentimentals last because they're the hardest and they can get you feeling stuck. So if you're feeling stuck at the moment, consider if you're trying to declutter sentimental items and if you're not better off doing that last. Another problem comes in when you're just decluttering with other people, especially parents or maybe aunties and uncles but especially parents if they're there they see you declutter something they definitely want to keep it <laughs> they want to hold on to it especially if it's from your childhood or your teenage years so you're better off decluttering alone so you can let go of things in peace i mean they can keep some things once in a while but i feel like <laughs> my mom is guilty of this she wants to keep everything and yeah so anyway um, I hope you like these three hardest parts of decluttering. Let me know what you find hardest in decluttering in the comments below. And please like this video as I said, it really helps out my channel. And I'm trying to hit the next mark of a thousand subscribers, which is a long way to go still, but that's like the next big thing after a hundred, so I went with that. Um, do you think I should have said 200 first? Let me know in the comments below if I should be aiming for 200 first and then 300 etc. But eventually I want to get to a thousand so it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel and switch your notifications on so you don't miss the next video and I'll see you soon. Thanks!